Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to do schedules in Revit. So there's two ways you can do this. Um, one way you can do this is go up to this top bar and click view, schedules, and you'll just click on it. Schedules quantity, you'll just click on it. And then a whole bunch of lists of items will come up. Uh, let's cancel and I'll show you the other way to do it. It's on the left side here, properties under project browser. You'll see your floor plan, ceiling plan, you'll right click, new schedule, and then you'll get the same place. For now, let's cancel, and I'm going to show you how to duplicate a view. So for ex in ex instance, uh, a like a floor plan. So uh, let's go to level one, right click, and duplicate view, duplicate. And right click, rename. And for this, let's just rename it to tags. And then you can enter. And then you can just scroll down to schedules, right click, new schedule, scroll down for room. We're going to do room schedule first. Click OK. And so for this, we're going to want name add parameter. You're going to want area. It's in alphabetical again, so add parameter. And comments, add parameter. And level, here we go, add parameter. And you can just click OK. There's no information shown right now because we don't haven't put anything in there yet. Um, I'll show you when we do. But if you wanted to add some more, you could just go over here to properties and the fields and edit and you can add more if you wanted to so like wall finish those things we'll do a different one for that later um, but let's for now just click OK okay so let's go back to the floor plan and scroll out and we're gonna lay those ta room tags so you'll go to architecture room and you can just hover over these areas with walls and it'll automatically populate different rooms. Um, if you want to separate rooms without walls, you can use the room separator tool. So you'll just click modify room separator and you can do anything from the rectangle, pick lines, anything. Um, so I'm just gonna separate this area from the top. So let's just click here the line, go through these columns kind of, all the way through over here, click OK, and then we can click architecture, room, and then now this area will be considered a room. So let's rename those room tags. So you can go in here and highlight it, click it, click it again, click into that text, and let's just name this like lobby or something, and enter. And then you can go up here. If it's not easy, like say if we put architecture room, like put these room tags over here in the bathroom, it's much more difficult to see because of all the furniture. So escape, and so see, this one's not too hard, but like see if you went over it, you could tab, 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 until you get it, click it, click it, room, and let's make that conference, and let's just name this offices, and you can click, 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 backspace, and let's just name this um, admin, enter. So if you want to change the room number, you can just click on here. And so you can do the same thing that we just did when we renamed it. You click on that tag, but instead of the offices or the name or room, you'll go to the number and hover that and click on it. And then you can backspace. So instead of like 101, like one, you could do 101. Some people have standards for that. Um, so instead of one, three, you could click, 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 
103, enter, and you could do the same thing. Click, 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 102, enter. Oh, didn't quite get rid of it. But you could click, click in here, backspace, and enter. So, say you have an area like this in this closet. So if we were to put room tags over here, so this would be one room, but for some reason, this area would be considered a different room, but it's really just a closet. So let's put a place here and see it's still wanting to put a room tag in here. But we want this to be considered one room, so that's just a closet. So modify, and you'll click on this wall, and over here in the properties, wall, properties panel, under, you'll see all of these different constraints and you'll see room bounding, uncheck that mark and click OK. And now when you click on this tag and this cursor, you can drag it and you can see now it'll even go over that area. And so now you know for sure that that is a new, like one whole space. To make for sure again, you can do room and see it's going outside of that bounded area. And so if you laid one here, it would just make a duplicated room. So right now, um, this just has these different room numbers. So um, if you wanted to change the n name, if you wanted to add it in the square footage underneath the, the room name and the number, you could just click on it, add edit type, and over here you can see show area, check and click OK. And now you can see the square foot. Similarly, if you don't want the room number for some reason or the square foot, you can just click on any one of them, edit, and then click, click on any one of them, edit type, and then show area, click OK. And it'll go away. Just know it'll do it to all of them. So let's make a finish schedule. So over here, we're going to go over to schedules quantities, right click, new schedule. And this is similar to your room schedule, but this is going to be a little bit different because this will have more information. So we'll scroll down again to rooms. And click OK. So your parameters for this you'll want are number, name, scroll up, you can go to area, add parameter, scroll down, we'll want wall finish, ceiling finish, floor finish, add parameters, and base finish, that's your baseboard. Now if any of these are kind of like in weird order, you can just click on them, go up and down. Click OK. And here you've added in some new ones. So to add in these different um, types of wall finishes, you can just click into these different areas and you'll just click. And so say you want your wall finish, um, for your office's area to be paint. Say you want the ceiling to be gypsum. The floor finish would be wood. And so, like, if we had restrooms, you'd probably make the walls and floors of that tile or however you base it on your, um, different areas. Another way you can just like change these is just drop down and change the name, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. For this,
Okay, so let's make a color coding floor plan. So the way to do that is let's duplicate this floor plan again. So let's go over to level lot one. Let's go to right click this one, rename, or wait, no. <laughs> right click, duplicate view, duplicate. Um, right click, rename, and let's change this to color floor. click enter. Um, to do this we're going to go to annotate and over here you're going to see color fill and color fill legend. We'll click color fill legend and we're just going to click anywhere on here. I suggest over here on the left side kind of underneath your um, title. And so for this don't just click OK. You're going to need to change space type so from spaces, you're going to want to change that to rooms, and color scheme, you're going to change that from department to name, and click OK. Now, if you don't like these colors for any reason, one thing you can do is um, you can select the legend, edit scheme, and then you can check these colors. So color, admin office, and you can do this manually. You could go to Sherwin-Williams or something and get the RGB of something specific. You just click OK, OK, and now that color has been changed. And now let's make a furniture schedule. So we're going to go over here again, or actually let's do this differently. So go up here to view, schedule, drop down, schedule quantity, and we're going to do furniture. So scroll down and find furniture. Not furniture systems, furniture. Click OK. And so the parameters you're going to want for this are type mark, family and type, not just family, but family and type. Count. And comments. And then click OK. Now let's go back to this tags floor plan, the one that we had already been doing other tags for. Well, they should be. Uh-oh. We did it on this one. Well, that's okay. We'll do it on here. We can just rename these. So let's rename this one. Level 1, spacebar, tags, enter. Okay, let's do enter a new name. Rename. Floor plan, enter. And let's rename this one. Enter. Yes. Alright. So now we've got this going for us. Okay. So we're going to want to tag all these furnitures. Um, so we'll click here. You'll go to architecture. Actually, you'll go to. Annotate, tag by category, always save your project, even if it takes a second. So let's do that again. Architecture, annotate, actually, tag by category. You're going to tag furniture. So you can click. And right now there's no tag loaded for the furniture. What are you going to do? So you'll just click, do you want to load one now? Yes, that's totally fine what you'll want to do is, so I already have this here, you'll be way back here. So you'll want to make sure that you go, this should be here, you'll want to go to annotations, architectural, and you're going to want to go to furniture tag and click open. And now you should have some furniture tags. 
and you can just go through, tag these, and make sure you tag all of your furniture pieces. Did I get this one? So now that you've got your furniture schedule done, um, let's put these side by side, the furniture schedule and the floor plan, or the tag schedule, uh, tag plan, let's put them side by side, that way we can um, see them. So let's do, go up to view, and you go to tile views. Now we don't need all of these, so let's exit out of the floor plan. We don't need the color plan, level one floor plan. We don't need the room schedule. We don't need the other room schedule. All right, and now you've got this level one and this level two here. And we can see them side by side now. All right, so what you can do is you can select an object in the schedule and then you can highlight it in the model so you can easily change these so let's select this and then in the ribbon up here you can see highlight and model click that and click the show button multiple times for different views so show and all open views and say okay And so you can close. And so you can see that now here. And so let's do it for a different one. So say let's do it here, highlight and model. And we'll just close and see it's that chair. And so we can change this type mark to anything. So let's do, so you could do C1, or let's do furniture. So like, okay. So furniture, let's do F. Cancel. Let's type F1 here. And click OK. And that's going to change all of those instances that are the same. So these chairs here, let's do F2. And then let's see what this is. Highlight and model. Cancel. It's these tables. So F3. So good. Click OK. And... F4 or F5, click OK, and then we do F4, click OK, enter. So to sort this, oh wait, we still have one here. So let's do F6 and then enter. Alright, to sort this, you go over here to the properties, sorting, grouping, and click edit. And you can go up here and sort by, and we're going to do sorting, and none. We're going to do a grand total, and we're going to uncheck itemize every instance. Let's go back. Right click. You should be able to insert a column. Cancel. Hmm. You should be able to click on the schedule, go to properties, sorting, edit. Properties, sorting, edit. And you should be able to put grand totals. Sort by type mark. 
add a blank line. That's what I missed. So, you are going to want to do sort by type mark, ascending, add a blank line, and then you're going to want to click grand totals, and then you're going to want to uncheck this, itemize every instance. Click OK. And here you go. You've got everything. And you've got the count, and you can make comments on the specific ones, and so that way you can see the different ones. Alright, let's make a door, uh, let's fix this view, so you can go back to tab views, and tab views, Oops. furniture schedule, uh, let's go back to this tags, alright, so let's do a door and window schedule, so the way to do this is go to annotate, tag by category, and we're going to uncheck this leader bar. And we're going to do this for things like doors because doors don't have leaders. Um, we're also going to do this for things like walls. Okay, so to the walls, we're going to add type mark values in their properties. So, we're going to click on these walls, we're going to scroll down, and you should see mark, and you should be able to do wall 1 and enter. So, let's go to tag by, let's go to architecture, annotate, tag all. And let's click on the type, so let's do windows or doors, so let's do door tags first. And then make sure this leader is unselected. You can change this hor orientation from horizontal to vertical, so right now this is horizontal, but if you wanted those tags to be vertical, you could change those. And you're going to just click OK. And so now you've got all of your doors tagged. And so now let's do the windows. So tag all, scroll down and do window tags, make sure this is all, and then click OK. So right now you don't see the type mark on the doors, so we're going to need to change that. So what you're going to do is double click on that tag. So double click it. Click on it, and over here in properties under label, we're going to select edit. On the list of parameters, we're going to delete this mark. So click on it, take it out. And then we're going to find. type mark. So this should be here, and we're going to add parameter. Then we're going to click OK, and then we're going to load into project and close, and then we're going to click OK. And we're going to click save. And we're going to click overall. Okay, so now you see that they're all the same for all of them. So if we click on the door of this and we scroll down, we should be able to change the name of this and it will change all of them. So not the actual door, but the tag. If we click on that, you should be able to change the name of that and change all of them. 
So let's change that to door. And I'll change all of them. Or like, this really makes more sense to be like D and then one, enter. Yes. And we can do the same thing for your windows. So you'll click on them, click it, and then instead of 13, let's make that W, 13, enter. Click yes. We're gonna make our schedule for our windows and doors. So we're gonna do right click, new schedule, and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna do doors and click OK. So for doors, you're gonna want type mark width up here, let's scroll up. Head height or height. There we go. And you can kind of do what you want here. I'd say comments for the doors. Um, I think that'll be okay. And click OK. Same thing for windows. So we're going to go into this. We're going to do a project browser, schedules, right click new schedule quantity and we're going to do windows then we're going to click ok and then for windows And we are going to have, let's say, type mark, add that in, sill height, add that in, width, add that in, we'll want the count, add that in, move that up a little bit, and let's do... Maybe like manufacturer or something for Windows, and we'll click parameters and click OK. So, once you're in here, you've got all of these. You can um, sort and group, edit, none, type mark, grand totals, itemize every instance, and click OK. Now you've got all of those windows. All right, now we don't have the curtain wall on the schedules, so we're gonna wanna add those. So let's add tag, save the project, always, always, even if it takes a second. So curtain walls, we're gonna wanna go and add a tag. So we'll go to annotate, tag by category, and if you try to tag this, it won't let you. Oh, and it still doesn't have a leader. So we'll actually want a leader for these. So let's try. And then, then there's nothing. So what are we going to do? We're going to click on them. And double click if it'll let us. Or if not, you can click, click on it. Edit family. You've got this. We're going to edit that label. And instead of type mark, we're going to take that out, and we're going to put mark. We're going to click OK. Load into project and close, yes, and click save. Then you're going to go ahead and click yes. Overwrite the existing. Okay, now to actually get this to populate, you're going to want to go ahead and click 
on that curtain wall. It looks like it's clipping on the basic exterior. Here we go. So once you've got that curtain wall clicked, go over to the properties and scroll down. And in here, you can change the mark. And so now you can type in CW1 and click enter. And that will populate. And then you can go over here to this other curtain wall tab if you need to and type in curtain wall. Uh, let's type in two. Enter. Now this one doesn't have a leader, so if you need to add that in, you can click on the tag, leader line, and it will give you a leader line, and you can just drag it out. You should be able to just drag this cursor. Let's control Z. I'm not sure why it's acting, acting wonky. Let's get rid of that leader for a moment. Click this, drag the cursor, check the leader line. There you go. And so now you can make your curtain wall schedule. So what you'll do is go over here to schedule, right click, new schedule. You can also do this in view. You'll scroll down and you'll want walls and you'll click OK. And so for walls, you're going to want that mark, maybe manufacturer, maybe length, um, and maybe unconnected height. And click OK. And this will populate your curtain wall schedule. And so let's go back to that tag. So right now, actually, let's edit. So this has all of your walls currently. So you can't tell, so we want to make sure that you can see that. So let's edit and add in a feel of, what is it? I believe. Family and type. And we'll scroll this up and click OK. And so now you can see it has curtain walls and the basic rolls, and we don't want that. We just want the curtain walls. So what you're going to do is go over here to sorting and grouping, and you're going to sort. Actually, you're going to filter. Actually, what you'll need to do is go to tags. We'll go into this wall, click on it, and you're going to want to click edit type. And let's change the manufacturer for this. So, uh, name it Curtains. And click OK. OK. And then now you can go back to your wall schedule. And now you see the ones with curtains have a manufacturer in them now. So we can go ahead and filter for that. So let's go over to Filter edit, so filter by manufacturer equals, and we're going to do curtains, we're going to do OK. And so you can't see all of this, so if you go up here, you can just click on it, move it. Another thing you can do here is you can type in all of these other ones, so you'll want to make sure each one has one, so curtain wall three, and you can highlight and model to see which ones need a tag. You can also itemize in every instance, or unitemize and make great grand totals. You can sort by mark, click OK. So you can just have the grand totals. I wouldn't do that for this, though, because you really need to know which are all of them. So I wouldn't do grand totals. I'd itemize every instance for the walls. But if you wanted to rename this, you could go up here to Walls, click on it, and instead of Curtain Wall Schedule, or Wall Schedule, you'd type in Curtain. Curtain Wall Schedule. 
and you can do this for all of them. So we have, so over here in Project Browser, if you look at Schedules, you can click this plus bar, and you can see all of them. So right now we have Room Schedules. You can click on this. If we double click on this, it'll populate, and we can rename it from here, or we can rename it from here. So we can rename, right click, rename, and we can do room finish schedule. Click enter. And that'll also change it.